the Pulaski Bridge Bikeway is now open. riding safely. This is amazing. This is a life-changing experience. Awesome. I Perfect mean, we're timing, just heading right? to Queens right now, and it's opening. We're just going to have a cycle over the bridge to get to Queens, and now it's much easier. Yeah. Today's the day that many of us in Brooklyn and Queens have long been waiting for. It's the opening of the protected bike lane on the Pulaski Bridge. Brand spanking new, just opened today. A few activists and advocates got together way back in 2008, proposed something similar to what we have here. Even I, back in 2010, when I taped my commute to Lower Manhattan from Queens, had this to say. Next up, we reach the Pulaski Bridge. It's an integral link in the cycling network and connects the communities of Greenpoint, Brooklyn, and Long Island City, Queens. Sometimes during rush hours, it can get quite crowded with pedestrians and bicyclists. And what I would like to see someday is to see one of the lanes on the roadway taken back and given exclusively to cyclists. exciting day. We've completed the Pulaski Bridge Bikeway. It's really gonna resolve a long-standing problem of not enough space for pedestrians who want to walk over this bridge, get a view of the skyline, connect to the 7 train, and cyclists who want to do all sorts of things, visit their neighbors, shop, commute to work. Now they each have a safe, comfortable place. Connecting really the borough of Queens and the borough of Kings and treating cyclists like royalty. When you think of Vision Zero, it's um, number one, you want to make sure you have zero fatality, but it's also the vision of how we move the city forward. What do we do to make uh, a city understand that alternative transportation, such as biking, must be protected, must be safe, must be smart? Uh, today is an indicator of that. This is a bridge that I often ride to Brooklyn uh, with my husband. We take the ride from Sunnyside uh, all the way uh, down Kent Avenue, and this bridge is so incredibly important. And as a cyclist, I have felt unsafe for years biking over this bridge, uh, where it would really get pretty narrow and pretty dicey if there were cyclists and pedestrians uh, all trying to do the right thing and keep everyone safe. It was still challenging, so ever since I became a council member, I supported this uh, project, and it's great to see it done. Back in 2008, uh, we just got together and saw a problem. Everybody was really tired of the bike-pedestrian conflict on the narrow sidewalk, so, you know, we kind of approached community boards, local elected officials. We approached uh, some of the advocates, like transportation alternatives, and just started kind of getting the idea out there and trying to make something happen. We actually literally measured the width at different points, and it's like five, what are we, five, five and, and a half, half feet. feet. Yeah. There are more and more people with young children. There are people with strollers. It was really a dangerous situation. It wasn't just that we thought it was a great idea. We were very concerned about people's safety, especially pedestrians. This bridge was challenging because of the drawbridge. What we said by opening this bike lane protected is that we're not going to allow any drawbridge to be a drawback on how we move towards the future of transportation in the city. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. I'm glad we got here before the streetcar does. 